Mr. Chairperson of this important seminar and the title Global Competitive Debate for Challenges of Industrial Revolution 4.0. Uh, my esteemed colleague, Mr. Alungir, Secretary Technology and Madrasa Division. We have several special guests and designated speakers on the dais, right from Director General CPSC, the Acting Honorable Vice Chancellor of IUT, Chairman Bangladesh Technical Education Board, President Con Convener of the Seminar Committee, uh, distinguished delegates from abroad. I have met many friends from Australia, Nepal, Malaysia and uh, other countries. Our distinguished uh, President and Secretary General of IDEB, uh, my colleagues from the government, uh, the members, the very proud members of the Institute of Diploma Engineers in Bangladesh, members of the print electronic and online media, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. Allow me to uh, start by congratulating you for a very successful inauguration of this grand conference <laughs> by the daughter of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and our beloved Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina. And I am putting on record that you were all respected guests at Ganabhavan. Ganabhavan is, is a very important place, uh, carries the memory of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Majibur Rahman. So I was also part of that inauguration and I wanted to go one step back and congratulate you and now I'm also congratulating you for holding this important seminar on a very important topic. And you have got all the best available speakers on the dais. And I am very happy to share the dais with all of them. So it's, it's definitely going to be a memorable day for me. After Ramar Abhinandan Evang Shubhachya Grahan Karun, Chakri Jivaner Shuruthiki Ami Diploma Engineer Deshati Jorito Achi. After the After the Shukhe Dukhe Balo Mondo Shab Shumoy Amakhe Pame. Evang Amra Manuel Pradam Mantri Shujuggo Nirdeshanai Kachko. So, Jetu Onek Shumoy Chole Gache Evang Pori Aro Session Ase I wanted to be very brief. Uh, and also to give you a wake-up call that the fifth industrial revolution has already arrived. And I'm now joining with my friend who has taken the floor and addressed the issue. And he has spoken what we normally want to hear from people of the, of the sub substance. The fifth industrial revolution is happening also in Bangladesh. So he's very right. You know, in Bangladesh, basically, you have everyone still working in, in Revolution 1, Revolution 2, Revolution 3, Revolution 4, Revolution 5. The Bangabandhu Satellite 1 is part of the fifth industrial revolution. The LN the Honorable Prime Minister is basically is running ahead of the time in Bangladesh and that's why we want to have a leader like her who can aim at the future. As you know, many of our friends are on the dais and in front of me that she has already prepared the Bangladesh Delta Plan 2100. And that is the biggest gift to the new generation. 
from the Prime Minister, who is very vigilant. So let's uh, continue our conversation. I think the next session would be even more interesting. I used to work with a person, uh, Mr. Humayun Rashid Chaudhuri, who was the Speaker of the Parliament and also very supportive of the Diploma Engineers cause. The you know, stories can be heard from Mr. Shamsur Rahman and Mr. Hamid. He used to say the British took 700 years to bring their parliamentary democracy to the state. But in Bangladesh, we'll make it in six years. So it happened, you know, you know when I was a student of the uh, parliamentary system, House of Commons, the most of the elements, I, I made a study between the British Parliament and Australian Parliament. And in the middle, I, I positioned Bangladesh, that Bangladesh is even ahead of the Australian Parliament in many respects. So I have a study on, on that issue. So colleagues, uh, I, I would be uh, remissing if I don't underline the important contribution that all the designated speakers have made. And I feel that all of us will be ready, not only for the present, but also for the future. So we will be embracing both the fourth and fifth industrial revolution at the same time. And I wish you all the success and Godspeed. Thank you very much for allowing me to speak. I am deeply honored. Good afternoon, Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Najibur Rahman, Principal Secretary of the Prime Minister's Office, Dr. Ramhari Lamichani, Director General CPSC, Dr. Omar Ja, Vice Chancellor, Acting Islamic University of Technology, Mr. Mustafizur Rahman, Chairman Bangladesh Technical Education Board, Mr. Sinhal B. Shoniji, Chief Technical Advisor, and Mr. A.K.M. Hamid, President of IDEB, and all uh, attendants in front of us. Assalamu alaikum. In fact, as president of this session, I would not like to speak more because we are hearing here for two and about two year hours on the fourth industrial revolution. Some of our colleagues asked that if we are remaining in the two or three stages, how we can go to port directly and the answer already has been done our one uh, one presenter mr sinel sinaji and uh, our honorable principal secretary sir already told that british or uh, if you say that england has taken to come here over the more uh, 200 years but if we see that we are using the digital system, we have taken only 10 years. So it is not the question how we can accept the fourth revelation. The question is what will happen in our fate? That will be the question. There is a question if fourth revolution, industrial revolution happen then most of our people will lose the job and the robot will take the responsibility. My answer is if robot takes all the responsibilities then what we need to do anything? The robots will do everything, they will cultivate, they will make products in the industry for us and we will live very, very, uh, what should I say, luxurious life, and they will arrange everything for us. 
this is just like a fact but we have to change our technology and we will also have to change our syllabus curriculum already our some presenters already tell that in our polytechnic the syllabus we follow it does not match the demand of the present industry so we are lagging behind and he also said that if china installed robot in garments then we will lose our market in the europe and united states because they will be able to make the garments in lower price than us then in competitive market we will lose our market uh, i would like to thank all of the guests who are on the stage and in front of us and with these viewers i would like to thank all of you and close the session thank you very much thank you very much. honorable chair of this session and uh, respected chief guest um, our our guest of honor all the present uh, very much uh, dr mustafa bin rahman dr ram hari and mr sinhal and vice chancellor iut mr ja umar ja we are very grateful to you all for giving time paying this time for getting prepared for the next fourth industrial revolution it is undoubtedly our member is going to get to get they are they are trying to get prepared for fourth industrial revolution this is this is the warning session we have to get prepared for that the uh, thing is that the, we are in the we are in the stage we are in the we are in the stage where from where we have to move for progressive tibet what is the original tibet original tibet is k s a knowledge is skill and attitude for pro progressive for progressive tibet it is k s u k s knowledge skill and understanding for that reason in the morning session we are pushed to our honorable prime minister of this country for for the uh, bangabandhu tibet tibet university which is required this is the time to go there and we we have to understand that technology we have to understand all these things how how it can be happen honorable chair i should not take time you you are very kind that you have given uh, given for us uh, our sir principal secretary it is really pleasure for me long long years it is about 35 or more than that uh, we, we are very much acquainted with our honorable chief guest he is very kind one thing i have to just inform this house uh, once speaker humain rashid respected humain rashid choudhury at that time our today's chief guest what he has done for the diplomatiers for the country it is really exemplary for for the diplomatiers we are very much proud of our excellencies ladies and gentlemen thank you very much our uh, seminar committee said that they, they don't like to give any space for the next session as, as because dr moshir rahman sir the honorable advisor of economic of to the prime minister economic advisor to the prime minister he is already here without without information he is so simple man ladies and gentlemen you see he just arrived i i i, I cannot understand why he came here so already our chief guest dr moshir rahman sir is here now the uh, within 5 minutes next session will be started so no break for the audience please all the friends are requested to stay in the auditorium don't go anywhere for 5 minutes we are we are going with our sirs and guests guests uh, for a cup of tea only for the stage guests not for others please take chair in your in your seat